ओके टुडे विल गो फॉर द सेवेंथ सेशन द फर्स्ट थिंग इज ब्रेक स्टेटमेंट इट इज यूज टू स्केप फ्रॉम द करंट लूप एज वी हैव सीन द ब्रेक स्टेटमेंट इन अ स्विच केस मोस्टली ब्रेक स्टेटमेंट इज यूज्ड इन स्विच केस दिस इज मोस्टली यूज्ड इन स्विच केस सिंटैक्स इज सिंपली यूज द कीवर्ड ब्रेक अलोंग विद अ सेमी कोलन टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट हाउ एक्जैक्टली अ ब्रेक स्टेटमेंट वर्क विल बेटर गो फॉर अ फॉर लूप We'll use a for loop, a main function in which I say int i equal to one. Initializing in the for loop itself, for i equal to one, i less than or equal to ten, i plus plus, and now say print f percent d comma i. This is clear. Ensure that this prints. All the digits from one to ten, as I holds one, two, three, four, and so on up to ten. Now, if you use a break statement inside the for block, putting a condition if i is equal to five, then put a break. If not, go for the else block and print the value what i holds. So when i is one, we'll skip. This if block because one and five are different. Likewise, two, two and five are different. But when i is five, you'll break this loop. So the output is one, two, three, four only because when i is five, we are breaking it. But instead of printing, so this is how a break statement works. It will break that particular block in which it is present. an exit statement the first thing what a break statement cannot do the exit statement does that is if i have an external indefinite while loop while one now this is an indefinite never ending while loop an indefinite while loop inside that i have a definite for loop but the break statement will break this particular block only it cannot break the while loop if i execute this program i'll go for an indefinite loop and i need to restart my software once again so i cannot execute this program as this gives you an indefinite loop never ending loop so you better don't execute this kind of loop now to use a exit statement which takes certain integer as its argument we need to include the standard library h when we when compiler executes the exit statement that is the end of the program so even you place an exit statement in an indefinite loop like the one i have over here the exit statement will completely put an end to this program whereas if i use a break statement i'll go for an indefinite loop that is a break statement cannot break an indefinite loop while whereas an exit statement can put an uh, an end to the indefinite loop that is the difference between the break statement and exit function next thing example of exit statement as, as we have seen continuous statement In similar way as we have used for a break we'll go for a continue i less than or equal to 10 and i plus plus now print use a printing statement to print what i hold so this again prints all the values from 1 to 10 put a condition using an if statement if we go for if i is equal to 5 then print it if not continue it continue now what a continue statement does is when compiler executes a continue statement it will go for that particular incrementation it will repeat the loop again and again again and again 
until unless when i is not equal to 5 when i is equal to 5 will go for printing the value of i now instead of placing an equal to symbol we'll place a greater than symbol so when i is 1 we'll skip this block and we'll come to continue the loop will be continued making a i as 2 2 greater than 5 continue 3 greater than 5 continue 4 greater than 5 continue 5 greater than 5 this is again false so continue 6 greater than 5 which is true so print 6 Seven greater than five, print seven. Eight greater than five, print eight, and so on. We'll be printing all the values which are greater than five. So continue is a statement which will continue the loop of the program. Break is a statement which will put an end to that particular loop. That is the difference between continue and break. Continue statement an example over here. Now comes. nested loops when we have a loop inside another loop we call it as nested loops as we have a loop an if condition inside another if condition we call it as nested if else similarly when we have a loop inside another loop we call it as nested loop in this program if you see a loop a for loop is inner loop we call over here and this is outer loop so i can say an inner loop a loop inside another loop is called as nested loops we'll go for an example a basic example i have two variables i and j we'll use a for loop for i equal to 1 and i less than or equal to 10 i plus plus likewise in this i have one more loop j loop j equal to 1 j less than or equal to 10 and j plus plus now here i'll print percent d percent d we'll use the values i equal to percent d likewise j equal to percent d and a new line character comma i comma j this prints the value what i and j holds end of main so we better go for taking up five variables five value five as a limit so these are the values when i is 1 j will repeat for five times when i is 2 j again will repeat for five times when i is 3 j repeats for five times likewise this external loop will repeat the internal loop for certain number of times this printf will be repeated for five times and all these two statements again repeated for five times a small demonstration on for loop using nested for loops likewise we can go for while loop as well i is 1 and j is 1 i say while i equal to 1 i less than or equal to 5 enter into the block and say while j less than or equal to 5 we print percent d i equal to percent d and j equal to percent d comma i comma j the values what percent d holds a new line character and say j plus plus over here and say i plus plus over here and run the program it's again the same similarly to that miss j equal to 1 initialization at this stage so the similar output when i is 1 j will repeat for 5 times when i is 2 j will repeat for 5 times when i is 3 j will repeat for 5 times likewise when i is 5 j will repeat for 5 times again the same explanation this particular loop will be repeated for 5 times and 
this entire loop will be repeated for another five times we'll go for a small another example by using for loops we'll try to print a triangle i need two variables i and j for i equal to 1 i less than or equal to 10 and i plus plus enter into the block and say for j equal to 1 j less than or equal to 10 and j plus plus we'll print a square first of all then we'll go for a triangle and say print f a star on the screen that's it we'll print almost a rectangular shape diagram on the screen another new line character so a kind of rectangular shape on the screen now if you place i over here we'll be printing a rectangle a triangle on the screen for a square you better place a space over here so this gives a square like shape on the screen placing i the right triangle a right triangle on the screen similarly we can go for another triangle its image a slight changes is what it needs so instead of starting so instead of starting i as 1 will start it with 10 and should be greater than or equal to 1 and decrement it i minus minus so we'll get the opposite direction triangle likewise we can go for any any kind of triangle these are two upper and right hand triangle in the opposite images we'll go for an input given by the user we'll check whether it is a prime number or not by using the break statement let the user gives a number into the variable n this is what i need as of now and a loop so that i can repeat it now scan f print f enter a number so that i can use prompt the user and say scan f percent d comma ampersand i the variable n with this i got the value now i repeat the loop i equal to 2 i less than and i plus plus inside the loop i say if the value given by user is percentile by i the remainder if i get is zero then it's sure that this is the block of non primes and i'll say print f not a prime i say percent d is not a prime comma and and then i'll use a check variable i'll make it a false statement initially it is with 1 a false statement and then i'll put a break immediately out of this i'll say if the check variable if it's true then print f percent d is a prime comma the value given by user so if user says 9 which is not a prime likewise if user says 7 which is a prime so this number gives us whether the given number is prime or not now similarly we can find all the numbers which fall under a limit we'll print those numbers which are prime numbers up to a given limit so now user enters a limit this time limit let the i'll be i'll be holding that limit in n 
So, I need an outer loop variable as well. This, 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 it's clear that this entire block will say whether the given number is prime or not. So, if it is not prime, we are not supposed to print it. And if it is a prime, we are not supposed to say it is a prime, but say, simply print it. It is the value, it is the number we need. And an outer loop which gives, which says, A while loop or a for loop doesn't matter. A while loop let the outer variable comma outer variable start from 3. So, I say out less than or equal to the value given by the user, the limit and at the end say out plus plus so that we can increment the value. Now we will pass 3, 3 will consider the limit is 20, 3 is less than 20 and here instead of making less than outs the variable limit put it out. Now again instead of doing with the limit do with the current number. So you say i equal to 2, 2 less than 3 and so you will enter, you say 3 percentile 2, it's equal to 0 false and so you will come out and c is still a true value so you will be printing 3, out plus plus. So likewise you need to initialize c over here. Now when you say 20, instead of printing n, print out. If you print n, you will be printing the given limit. If you print out, you will be printing the current value. Though, so, the prime numbers are 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17 and 19. So, what all limit you say, even if it is a limit of 100, you will be printing all the prime numbers 3, 5, 7, 2, 13 and so on up to the number given by the user that is 100. So, in this we are using two different kinds of loops that is a while loop in which holds an internal for loop. So, this is a program with which we can print any kind of loop, any kind of output over the prime number regarding that. The nested for loop example, similar one, a, a loop in which another loop exists. Likewise, nested while loop, while loop in which another while loop exists. We'll go for an, an, an example for using while loop. So now we we'll go for printing the other image of the right triangle by using nested while loop. So hash include stdi.h a main function in which integer i equal to 1 and uh, another variable j initializing inside the while loop. So, while i less than or equal to will initialize i with 10 while i greater than or equal to 1 and in this will decrement i i minus minus. So, this is about the i while loop. Initializing j, j equal to 1 while j less than or equal to i and will increment i over here, j over here and we will use an if condition. If this is true then print a star on the screen. If this is false then print a space on the screen and the condition is j should be greater than or at least equal to i. So, so this is how a triangle of, of the opposite reverse image direction will be printed 
and you say this code. So if you put some space while printing along with spaces it gives a right triangle, equilateral triangle. So the logic is quite simple. You need to do some certain kind of modifications. With that modifications you will get many changes. So just observe if you remove the space it is a right triangle. If you put up space it is an equilateral triangle. That is it. These are the slight changes we will modifying to print triangles on the screen. Triangle logics are very important in the loops because many uh, companies will be asking in the entrance exams so uh, better concentrate on the logic part of programs.